Oh, the second good news is that I'm already granted the dance permit. After waiting more than one year, more than one year, because I uh, I came here to Norway last December 15, 2021, and then I filed my application for family immigration visa, which is the one I need for my residence permit here, in February 2022. And then, to be fair, they contacted me or they responded through email uh, in May 2022. But uh, I have to explain or uh, clear my birth certificate. I had to change my passport. Change that, and I had to wait. I had to wait for it and uh, send it back to. Udi, which technically from July 2022 until August 2023, I waited for their uh, decision. I waited for my residence for me. How did it happen? So I will never forget August 3rd, 2023. Actually, I was at home and my husband was in town um, buying some some things and then before he, he came home he called me and he said that the UDI or the immigration uh, office called him saying that they granted my residence permit Ta -da! And of course, they explain um, uh, what to do next. When my husband came back home, and our hours after, uh, he got a message, an email uh, from the UD, and it's about the decision granting a temporary residence permit. So it was August 3rd, 2020, and I will not forget that day. So it says, there, my name, my date of birth, my gender, my nationality, my country of birth, my place of birth, my reference number. This reference number is during my application. And then my reference, which is my husband. And uh, the date of application. And uh, the place where I submitted my application and the validity of my visa one year so it means I can stay here I can live it for one year and then I have the right and privilege for free education one is to have a free Norwegian class which I'm already doing and then at the same time I can work now. Samahan ko ninyo ako sa aking journey dito sa Norway and hope I can inspire you and give you tips should you be living here in Norway and how to find work. General information about the residence permit. One, you can take up work or run an acquisition business in Norway. I can work now or I can do business, legal business. I wonder if OnlyFans is allowed. Ah, requirements for actual residence in Norway. We have taken as a basis for the decision that you must stay in Norway for at least six months in a permit period for one year. And then I got uh, a mail from the UD informing me that they already have the decision that I am granted a residence permit and some uh, instruction that I will be getting also a letter of the decision which is almost the same of the email that my husband got through my post mail 
within uh, 20 days. But they informed me that they already ordered my residence card and also the one that I will be getting from the tax office. So once I've got my residence card, I can open a bank here in Norway and they will give me like a chip and also uh, I can go to NAV to ask for possible jobs that I can do here for now. I just, want, I just wanted to share you this good news and I hope I, I was able to inspire you and give you tips about it. Should you have questions, please write it under the comment and we will talk about it. Also, if you are into languages and want to learn Norwegian or you will be moving here in, in Norway and you want to learn Norwegian prior or you're still in Norway and still learning Norwegian, I have uh, videos about easy and simple Norwegian so you can check them out and we can we can learn together you can share ideas to each other please do like uh, share comment again this has been our Kenwa channels talk for your dog be safe